Good morning, everybody. Hope you can hear me. I'm going to do my best to enunciate and explain where I'm at. Currently at Indian Bread Rock Campground, BLM. And it is freaking ridiculous. This is a Chiricahua Apache Stronghold. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is like, this would be considered a castle. They'd go up to find, they'd find rocks. I guess this is where the, the government chased them up into the hills and they did their battles. And I mean, you can't fight check. You can't fight Apache in these things. And that's why Ger Geronimo kicked ass in Cochise. As a matter of fact, this is all Cochise's kind of, here comes the wind. Woo. This is sacred land too, which I'm surprised they're letting us be here. Which, but I'm a shaman, so I'm digging it. I can feel the energy. I can feel the vibe. I love it here. It's beautiful. I got a great sleep. Yesterday was a was a stress drive. I was headed for Tombstone. Here, hi. How you doing? Love you too. Good to see you. <clears throat> I was headed for Tombstone, but I got up in the morning, did some mapping like I always do, and I found that there was a there is a border checkpoint before you get to tombstone so basically tombstone is in mexico and i was like i couldn't understand what that was all about right i was like why would you put a checkpoint 40 miles from the border shouldn't it be at the border before you get into tombstone you have to go through a checkpoint and they can search a car and do all that crap and <clears throat> i'm kind of renegade at the moment in a lot of ways and i can't be i'm trying to keep my vehicle low profile until i get some things adjusted like my registration and stuff because I have to get it smogged and drive it all the way up to Oregon to do it so I can figure out how I can get around that or whatever because that's ridiculous. I don't have the money for that or the time. So anyway, <clears throat> anyways, I just want to talk about sorry, about intuition. It's important to have it. I'm, I'm kind of like uh, Richard Dreyfus at this point in Close Encounters. I'm making the, the, the devil's tower out of mashed potatoes and you know, going for freaking out in the kitchen, right? And making like big sculptures of, but I mean, I'm not that bad, but I mean, that's what I'm running on. I'm like, that's what it feels like. I mean, last year has been pretty chaotic, but now it's just like, I'm trying to figure out my place and where I'm going. And, and I went through Tucson and it was so busy, so many people. And it just, that was part of the stress drive. It was just like, oh, traffic and the human beings. And you could feel their, you know, presence. And just, I can feel everything, so it kind of gets fun. Anyway, then I found out I wasn't going to Tombstone, which was kind of disappointing. Like I said, I'm not going through checkpoints. Not if I can help it. I'm a renegade at this point. I love it. And here's the fun part was when I was sitting there, I was stressed. I was like, shit, now where am I going to go, right? And there was no BLM popping up from here into Mexico. I mean, literally White Sands is as close as I was getting to get some BLM, which was bullshit. This was Google. I, was, I kept doing it, right? Finally, this place popped up. I was like, yes. It was just within the, the drive that I wanted. I don't want to stress my vehicle because she needs oil change too. So we got to work on some stuff. <laughs> but, woo, it, was it was, I'm sorry about the wind. It was snowing a little bit earlier. It was raining last night. I mean, but it's a free campsite. There's cows roaming over here. It's just ridiculous. There's a little mama cow with her baby right in here. It was cool. So I'm, I'm blessed. I found this place and I was like, yes, because I was gonna. I was at a truck stop from Benson. This is all really cool because this reminds me of Alabama Hills. If you've ever been there, I talked about that in my videos. I've been there. I have a video about Alabama Hills. And it's really beautiful. Really, I didn't realize these rock formations were here. Come on, wait, give me a second. And there's a really cool rock formation leaving Benson. Benson is basically when you go south to Tombstone on 10. And I didn't go south, I just kept going. But I'm going to New Mexico, I'm like three miles from there. <clears throat> and from Mexico too, so. And it's still snowing, it's freezing. I'm like high up on the, I'm like I'm high up on the plateau. So. And this is, this is still high desert, so. I mean, but it'll, you know, it gets warm in the daytime when the sun's shining. Not at the moment, but like I said, free camping and it's beautiful. I stocked up on some juice and stuff. And, uh, I got a fire going. Dharma's keeping me warm. Yeah, camping out here, having fun. I'm just gonna probably stay here for the New Year's. Just chill out. But this place is magical. I'm gonna stay and hang out for a second. It's called it's called Indian Bread Rock. I mean, come on now. This is like a badass stronghold. With some Chiricahua fucking Apache. Come on now. 
you can do better than that. Anyway, I say like eagle feather or some shit. I don't know. Something really cool. Anyway, I'll let you go. It's getting windy. Woo! And yeah, anyway, I love you. God loves you. The universe loves you. I want you to do good. Keep the high ground. people.